All right, guys, it is October 31st, 2023. Happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Big Daddies. Go out there and get some of that Big Daddy candy and enjoy your day. Let the crypto play. Anyway, what is going on today in the crypto world? We have BTC at 34501 cents. So it's holding about 34K with its recent jump. Uh, mainly, I think, because of that BlackRock ETF crap. So we'll see if it goes higher. I know Fidelity is looking at it. Vanguard, all the big players, the big guys that own everything are looking at it. So we'll see. Um, and that's where I did my last video where I talked about Fidelity. You can actually now trade crypto on Fidelity under their crypto account. You just move money into it, and then you uh, buy and sell your crypto. They track all your, you know, your sales, your profits, your losses, all that good stuff. But, 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 but the bad stuff is not your keys, not your coins. They own the coins. They have their key. Yeah, anything could happen. You have a million bucks in crypto on Fidelity. They can decide to lose it or not give it back to you. That's on them. You know, then you're screwed. So you got to watch that. Not your keys, not your coins. Yeah. So maybe it's a good idea to get on Fidelity. Just an idea. I don't know. You buy a thousand bucks here. You buy a thousand bucks there. You hope it goes up 20%. You sell it knowing that the way the crypto sine wave works up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, I don't know. Is it time in the market? I have no idea. But if you're going to make money, even though you're going to pay, uh, even though you're going to pay short-term capital gains or whatever the hell you have to pay anymore, um, I don't know. It might be worth it. You're making money. You'll be taxed out the butthole, but yeah, you're still making money. So we got Ethereum over here at 1811.84. What the hell is Binance doing there yet? All right. Ripple, that's the old. So what the hell was that guy's name that went nuts? Uh, Bitcoin Ben. What the hell that guy? I always thought that was such a shady. YouTube channel, those guys, they always just seem like they were grifting and trying to rip you off somehow. And it's just weird. It's just a bunch of weird guys found a grift on YouTube. And then one guy went crazy. I don't know. It's just weird, man. It's YouTube's a cesspool. Do, uh, definitely for entertainment only, especially my stupid little videos. They're all just for fun. Give you little insights. <coughs> Excuse me. Little insights into what I do. And how I always lose all my money. And uh, you can lose all your money too. Just listen to me. So here is what I do. Here we go. This is a good chart. If you don't know about coin360.com, bookmark it. It's kind of useful. But don't look at it every hour. Look at it once a week or so just to see what the markets are doing. Yeah. And pre prepare. What? Don't invest more than you're willing to lose, which you will lose it. I mean, it's just the way that you, you never can... You never can beat the market. It's like the house always wins, but sometimes you make some money in investing in that, and then most times you don't. But I don't know. It's all just gaming, and maybe you'll block out before you die and make a couple bucks, right? You never know. All right, let's go on. Screw the crypto now. I'm just watching it. Like I said, I have Fidelity and playing with that for a little bit. Again, small small amounts of money, nothing major. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I hate doing it because I know I'll lose it, but yeah. No guts, no glory. Sometimes, you know, no risk reward thing there. If you risk it, maybe you'll get something. I don't know. So well, let's let's go on to talk about something else. There's the crypto prices. Still selling my equipment, my mining equipment on eBay. And the last video I mentioned why I don't want to meet people in person. Don't want to be stabbed to death. Uh, and I'd rather just sell on eBay. They rip you off anyway by taking 14% or something of the sale price. And, uh, you know. You may get scammed by the buyer as well. It's it's a wild west on that eBay platform. It's not the greatest, but it is a tool to use just to unload stuff and make pennies back on your dollar. You know, it's something. What what else am I gonna do? Keep a keep a stack full of thirty eighty Ti sitting here gathering dust? Nah, just sell them, get something back, pay for groceries, and uh, be be on about my merry way. But yeah, I have not had any scammers. I sold a car to one dude. And the guy's obvious was an idiot, didn't know what he was buying. Said he got all these errors, the computer kept crashing. The guy had no concept of how to, you know, how to use a GPU, set it, configure it. You just don't plug and play. You got to make sure your system can handle it. And it just wasn't compatible. The guy just, it just wasted my time on eBay. You just got to 
be direct in your description on eBay. You're only going to sell to people that have that have had uh, let's say have had an account on eBay for you know at least six months. You're not just some new hack because a lot of these scammers will make an account that day, try to buy your item, your GPU, have no feedback from anybody, and then when they get it, they act like they never got it. Do a chargeback, and you're out eight hundred bucks. And uh, yeah, it's a scam. You got to watch it. You got to you got to know how to navigate the cesspool of eBay. <clears throat> but yeah, lately I've sold quite a bit without any issues. Uh, I do on the um, Nvidia GPUs. I will go into the Nvidia tools, reset everything the factory in case any overclocks were set. Uh, clean them up a little bit. Get all the dust bunnies out. You know, and then ship them in the box that they came in and now it is what it is. You're not getting a new GPU. Come on. If you want to get a new GPU, pay a thousand bucks. You're getting one for 600 bucks. So suck it up cupcake and quick, 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 quick complaining is what I say on eBay. But in general, I've been selling quite a bit, unloading stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Power supplies aren't moving as much. They're not worth much. And then, you know, shipping's going to cost more than this stupid power supply. Uh, I have a lot of Ryzen CPUs and a lot of motherboards. I'm holding on till next year. I don't know. I might keep those. I don't know what to do with all these CPU rigs I have. They don't take much space, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I think I'm down to... <clears throat> a couple 6600 XTs. A Red Devil, which I use for games. And I got a Wolf one, I think. I'm gonna, I just jacked the price up. Because I don't really care if I sell those. I only have a couple GPUs left. And I'll get if I get the, the price I put, that that's great. Why why fight the other dudes on eBay and nickel and dime and you know race all the way down to zero trying to outbeat them on price? That's stupid. Just set your price. You get it. You might get it. You know you might get some guy who really needs it, and boom, you made a, made a couple extra hundred bucks. And you were racing the other guy down to zero. You know, oh my god, he just lowered his to four hundred. You got to lower yours. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. Stick to your price. Don't be desperate. Set your, uh, set your shipping price. And uh, yeah, don't do free shipping. Bullshit. Shipping costs money. That's the cost of doing business. If you're not going to pay it, then go go freaking buy somewhere else. You'll find that Newegg, Amazon, they're all going to charge you mostly shipping, you know? Unless you have a Prime account, but you're paying for Prime. So come on, nothing's free, folks. All right, let's move on. That's the crypto, that's the crypto segment. On to... What I do with my other money and dividend stocks. All right, let's switch on over. All right, close your eyes. How do I do this? Uh, I got to go to the stock page. Here we go. Watch this, guys. Blammo. Blammo, blammo, blammo. Stocks. All right, here are some of the stocks. What I believe in, and I don't always follow my own advice because I'm an idiot, is uh, dividend stocks. Buy and hold and forget. And then the idea is you're going to hold them to perpetuity. You're never going to sell the dividend stocks unless they really suck and you need to like, um, I had Dominion. It just was tank. And I go, I'm not, it's not worth the squeeze anymore. I just dumped it. And some things you got to move around. The idea with the dividend stocks, you buy and hold forever and you're going to live off the dividends. If you just buy a stock like Tesla, there's no dividend. So you're just holding it in hopes it's going to go up. And during that two or three years, you're hoping it goes up. You're not getting anything. Your money's just sitting in the stock. And I do own Tesla. So I'm an idiot. So you got to watch out. Dividends are the best thing out there. <clears throat> and if you don't like to buy any individual dividend stocks, you can actually go to say, I'm a big Fidelity guy. I don't like Vanguard. Um, you go to Fidelity. There's a dividend index fund. You can buy those. I think Vanguard's is VOO or something like that. Or just buy an S&P index 500 fund. And most of those will pay, that index 500 fund will pay a quarterly dividend out to you. Uh, and then there's no um, fees on that index fund as well. So, but you can also go and do what I also do is buy the individual dividend uh, stocks and you can buy them through Fidelity. You can buy them through um, Computershare.com <clears throat> and there's always a fee, blah, blah, blah. But then you start getting dividends and over time, depends how old you are, you know, I probably don't know how many years left on this planet, but uh, if you're young, well, no one knows how many years they got. I started with say Exxon. God, I started like 40 years, 30 years ago with Exxon. Just bought it direct. And the thing is my main holding. And I get dividends every quarter. It drops the money into my account. Help pay some bills. <coughs> and then I move on. But you can also set it up where the dividends you get every quarter 
will be rolled back into the stock Exxon and buy more shares. And over time, it just keeps growing like a big snowball, compounding interest. Boom, 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 compound, 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 compound. And again, you're not day trading these damn things. You're holding them and forgetting about them. You're investing, you're letting the dividends reinvest. And then you're hopefully when you get old enough, you want to retire, you're going to have like a couple extra thousand bucks a month in dividends or a quarter coming out to help you pay your rent. And so you're not, you know, sitting in a wheelchair eating applesauce in an old lady's home you know, getting beat up by the attendant, you know, you're in your own house. Yeah, you, you, I don't know. You know what I mean? Your quality life's a lot better. Anyway, so let's go through this. This is my stupid Apple stock thing. I have a Mac. I hate Macs. I don't know why I have a Mac. Uh, this is their news app, their stock app. Uh, it's very biased, very biased on the, on the left-leaning side of the things, the news and stuff. It's very slanted. You just got to read through and go, oh my God, propaganda is real. Jeez, it's it's kind of sick. So I try not to read the news too much on the uh, stock page. But here I have the NASDAQ ticker. I have the North New York Stock Exchange. With it has associated news. The Dow Jones with the associated news. Kind of gives you a warm fuzzy what's happening out there. Uh, pro tip, whatever they're pushing for the day's news, ignore everything. Don't let the news or the Oh, who are these idiots? The financial analysts who post stuff online or these news articles. Don't read them. Don't let them influence you. Don't listen, listen to anything Morningstar says or Alpha, Seeking Alpha, whatever. Don't, don't, don't. Kramer. Don't ever listen to Kramer. What a fool. The guy's an idiot. He's a shill. He's just a clown. He's a clown for entertainment. Um, the guy has problems. I mean, just a creature of the market. He's a monster. It's just, what a clown. Anyway, move on to him. Don't listen to anybody. Don't touch your money unless, oh my God, you really need the money to pay a bill. Don't ever do it. Listen to me. I had NVIDIA. And the reason I bought NVIDIA, I'll show you in a minute, but I had it and I wasn't, it wasn't doing well. It finally came back. I made a couple bucks and I just dumped it. Literally next week it jumped like through the roof. I missed that opportunity. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have touched it. I didn't need the money. I just wanted to break even and make my money back and get the hell out of it. It didn't pay a dividend. So I freaked out. I just dumped it. Dumb move. Should have held it. So now I have Tesla, which is down. And uh, it keeps going down, but I don't know. I know when I sell it, it's going to go through the roof. So I'm just going to hold it until I need the money. You know, it's so sad. And I wish it was given a dividend and I really wouldn't feel the pain as much. But it's just sitting there, you know, as a negative asset right now. Negative loss. It's in a loss. All right. All right, let's go back to this, guys. Here are some of my dividend producing stocks I purchased and I'm getting decent dividends. In addition, with the dividends I do receive every quarter and some are monthly, Every quarter, I also enjoy sometimes the stock goes up like right here on Starbucks and the stock goes down, but I'm getting a yield of 2.45%. Not too bad. And I like Starbucks. I don't personally like their product. I like the fact that everyone in America is addicted to the crap that they sell. And I saw that and people are dropping 20, 20 bucks a day on their crappy coffee, which, you know, gives me the runs I had a couple times. I said, man, you got to run right to the crapper once you drink that stuff. And it tastes like, it just doesn't great. Just go make your own coffee. Go to Publix, buy your own freaking coffee. Make it for 10 cents. Put ice on it if you like iced coffee. And just drink it black. Man, you're done. Yeah. But anyway, regardless of whether I like it or not, I like the company. And I like the fact that people are addicted to the stupid product they make. And along those lines, I also have McDonald's. That's down the list. <clears throat> So I bought this when they had a big upheaval, some social justice warrior thing happened years ago. And I don't know what the hell happened. And then their stock tanked for like two days. I bought in. That was one of the greatest timings I ever did. And right, right there, I bought it. It shot right back up and I'm up like 100% on Starbucks. Plus I get the dividends. Man, I just pounded a couple of Reese's and I feel sick. All right, let's keep going. It's Halloween. Let's keep going. All right. All right, Verizon, not doing too good for me. Look at it. It tanked. It's coming back. 7.68% I get on this puppy. Uh, I used to have lots of this stuff years ago. I used to work kind of in a, I think I worked for this company. Was it, Ver it was GTE, I think, or Verizon. I don't know how I was with this company, but I had lots of stock. I was getting dividends. I used the money. I cashed it out to buy a house. It was incredible. Now it's, it's all right. 7.6% on your money. Again, you know, you can look at the stock price, but again, I'm looking at the dividend. What am I getting every quarter? And in hope, you know, you're hoping the, the, the price goes up. That's a good thing, right? But I'm not going to sell my core investment. Every dividend right now, I get, I reinvest it. So it keeps growing and growing like a big snowball. 
Compounding. Look up the word compounding and Einstein. That's the greatest wonder of the world, Einstein said. Compounded interest. Dividends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Next one is MO. Mo. And that's the Altria group. And that's 9.74. And you can read about that. I think this is the tobacco guy. Is that Philip Morris or is it Marlboro? Yeah, cigarettes. So it's a vice. It's a vice company. But Jesus, look at this. 9.74. It tag. I don't know why it tag. I don't really care. I don't look at it every day. I don't really give a crap. Um, I'll maybe look at them a couple times a year. But these are all in my IRA. And I just keep trading if I need to trade. I don't worry about tax reporting on them until I until I um, withdraw the money and take a, take a distribution. But right now I don't. It's just growing and growing. Hopefully, well, and t I correct, correct me, correction. We, with the latest administration and this country and the economy, it's horrible right now. The guy came, these guys came in and destroyed this country with inflation. Everything's tank. Uh, it's just bad news, guys. Come on. And so makes me nervous a little bit, but I'm just closing my eyes and I don't want to dump anything. But, you know, it's still giving me 9.74% yield. Prices are down and it's just bad out there. But. Anyway, that's enough of that. You all can see what's happening. Gas has doubled. Food has doubled. Oh, my God. Rent has doubled. Houses have gone up. But if you sell, where are you going to move to? Every house is a million bucks. Now it's stupid. Yeah, rates are 8.5% mortgage. It's just a joke. You're kind of screwed. Anyway, next one, Johnson Johnson. 3.24%. You can see everything's tanking and kind of coming back. Uh, is that by design to destroy the country? Maybe. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, you just don't know. It's a big club, right? And we ain't in it. Do, do, do. Let's see. Lowe's is a big one for me. Look at that. Everything's been tanked since uh, freaking September. But this is typical. If you've been around long enough, you know that October is always the correction time every year. It just seems to be every year things crank, crank down, you know, 20%, and then they bounce back. Because, look, everything's actually kind of ticking up now. November 1st is tomorrow. And things will keep ticking up. So we got a 2.34% on Lowe's. Lowe's is a popular store. I think Lowe's is actually more popular than Home Depot because they got different, they got better appliances and just a different vibe in there. More of a home store versus a contractor store like Home Depot. And Home Depot has a lot of shit too. A lot of Chinese crap. The wood they have is pure crap. And uh, yeah, it's just, if you're really making furniture and stuff, you can't buy wood at Home Depot. It's just not straight. It's naughty. It's crap. I don't know how. Can I say it one more time? It's crap. You get what you pay for. Uh, go to Ace or something. I don't know. Look around. All right. Pepsi is cool. 2.98%. Uh, why Pepsi? Pepsi is not just beverage soda. They have Taco Bell. They have snacks. Look at this. Like chips. All that crap. They have a lot of crap. A lot of food. Again, people eat junk. Americans are fat as F. They are overbeast. 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 Obese unhealthy uh it's bad but and starbucks along with starbucks i see these vice stocks people eating this poison and they're going to keep doing it it's almost like a food it has addictive qualities built into it it makes you want more it might be just the processed sugar but uh hey why not take advantage of that take advantage of other people's uh, vices and make money of it like the mo2 the smoking you know, who cares? If you're going to do it, make money off it. Jeez, you don't have to smoke and drink this crap. Just go make money off it. All right, AV. I think this is pharmaceutical. My God, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, they, they do a bunch of uh, pharmaceutical drugs and stuff like that. 4.37%. It's not Pfizer. I did have Pfizer. Against my will, I dumped it. Against my will. No, against my... My, my conscience kicked in. I said, I got to dump this company. These people are evil. Pfizer just had to get out. These guys are just nasty. What they're pushing on people. It's just, ugh. Anyway, done with them, but I have AV. Next one, the big guy, Exxon. 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 Exxon Mobil. Uh, 3.59%. It's an oil company. Hey, we're always going to need oil. Solar is not going to be, not solar. EVs are not where it's going to be in solar. Oil, 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 oil. Oil, oil, oil. Anyway, that's where it's at. It's always going to be there. All right, next one is a financial. Uh, 1.89%. Look at this bastard. This thing is not a bad one. BR, Broadway. I, I have had this for a long time. But look at that one. That's pretty good. Let's go down to Crown Castle. This is a REIT, R-E-I-T, uh, Reinvestment Dividend 
commercial property holdings, uh, 6.94%. Everything's slightly going down, but I'm really impressed by this BR, Broad Ridge Financial. Yeah, so let's keep going. It's going to take forever, but who cares? It's YouTube. All right, Cisco Networking Company, uh, not too bad, 3.03%. They make networking stuff. They've been around a while, not too bad. Dominion Energy, these are the ones that, yeah, this is the one I dumped. It was good at yield, but it was just tanking too much for me. I said, oh, I'll just dump this one. I don't know. I probably should just not touched it. I watched it shoot up to 1,000, and I'll be kicking myself. All right, another energy company, Duke, 4.62. Typically, the energy guys have high dividend yields, which is something to look at. Like, they're, everything's low now. It might be, um, I don't know, with this Biden dude, you don't know if the market's going to fall and go to zero. Uh, you just don't know. We're over, trip, the, the amount of uh, uh, debt this country has, and they're printing money. And there's a good question. If they can print money, why do we have to pay taxes? Give me a break. You know, it's almost like a slave system to keep you broke. It's yeah. Now all the IRS guys have guns. They want to come after you. <laughs> it's just like it's so sad, man. We're, we're, country is done. Anyway, that's why you got to use financial means. Do your best to make money because money is a tool. Money buys you freedom. Money buys you opportunity. Or you can sit at your job, which is just over broke, J O B, and uh, wait till they come take you away in the body bag. Or try to make some money and just set yourself up. And I'll be uh, here's a life lesson. I've had the um, college funds set aside for for kids here and i was putting money in money in, and i just forgot to do it for a while and now i only have enough money for like one to two years of college for each kid i just totally forgot about it It was just a bad parent and if i would have just put on 100 bucks or so a month i'd have enough money to pay for college right now but i don't so it's going to come either through scholarships or out of pocket and that's the life lesson right there just if you have kids just start putting some of that, was it 824A or whatever, I don't know. Look at, Fidelity has one, you know, college college set-aside programs. And if you're in Florida, or I think they have a, a program you can set up, you can contribute to your kid to go to a Florida college, stuff like that. Yeah, so, and that's the same goes with the IRAs, 401ks. Just put a little mint. I mean, do as much until it hurts, because you don't need to buy the shiny objects. You don't need to buy the new Tesla. You don't need to buy a freaking TV. Don't waste your money on shiny crap. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses because the Joneses are broke and you're going to be broke with them. Minimal, minim, being a minimalist in, in the, uh, to the point where you don't need all this crap cluttering your garage. Only in any other country. We, this is the only country where the garages are full of crap you never touch or use any. Use it once and it gets stored in your garage. And uh, now where I'm at, I don't have a garage. So it actually is smart to have a smaller house without a garage because you don't go out and buy crap you don't need. You actually think about it. Do I really need that? Can I rent it? Uh, and then save the money for investing for your retirement or for doing things, experiences, trips. It's just just the smart thing. Quit buying crap you don't need. You know, you're going to use it once and stick it on a shelf. Who are you trying to impress? They don't care. Nobody cares. It's your money. Try to save as much as you can. And invest wisely. And that's up to you what you're conscious and doing your research. Never invest more than you're willing to lose because you most likely will lose it. It's just the way this world works. It's hard to beat the house. All right, GIS. General Mills is a good one, 3.64%. Everyone, everyone loves cereal. So even though it's, if you think about what cereal really is, they used to, they feed it to livestock to fatten them up before they get slaughtered. So you got to look at the reality of the food system in this country, which is crap. When you go overseas to Italy and Greece and all these other countries, Portugal, they make real food when you go out. It's it's from the garden. It's from the local farms. It's real unprocessed food, and it tastes good. And you, our food in our country is killing us with the sugar, the syrup, the lacto, uh, lactose, the corn syrup, and hor all these montos, all these big corporations. Now Gates is involved. He wants you to eat bugs. It's like, what the, what the hell is going on? It's just out of control. Oh, my God. And then people eat out a lot, too. All that is processed crap food, unless you go to a good restaurant. But, again, it's heavy on sodium, too. You're going to go over there feeling bloated. All right. Enough about that. You guys get the gist. I'm just trying to hopefully red pill you guys to see how the way things really are. No one's going to protect you. No one's going to take care of you. No one's going to look out to make sure your products are good for you because they want your money. You know what I mean? Look at the uh, food pyramid that used to, FDA used to come out. It's totally wrong now. We look at it and go, no, this, this is killing you. So the FDA doesn't care. <laughs> you got to look out for yourself. All right, GIS, General Mills. We just talked about that. It's uh, pre-slaughter food for livestock. 
Next one, Hormel Foods. 3.43% dividend. Again, you can look these up too. Just screenshot these. Kimberly Clark is a decent one. It's a mixed product, stuff like that for your household. Um, Kleenex, you know, paper stuff, wipe your butt, diapers. 3.95% McDonald's. God, look, everything tanked. Now it's coming back up. McDonald's, 2.57%. I do not eat here. It is, if you see how they make French fries and what they do with the pesticides on the potatoes, it's disgusting. And the food and the people that work there, it's a horrible place. I don't eat there. I can't. I just can't do it. Uh, but again, it's like with Starbucks. I see all these people that are addicted to this crap and they're going to keep lining up eating it like drones. I'm going to, hey, I'm going to make money off them. They're going to go get their McDonald's. They're going to go get their Starbucks, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to sit back and, uh, you know, Make money off them. All right. Next one. This is a good one. But look at it. Everything is on the same the same pattern. Down, down, down. And now it's coming back. 3.94% Medtronic. Oh, it's a labs, right? It's a labs. Engineering the extra... extra eh, engineering the extra... Extraordinary. Boy, I can't speak. Public school, man. Woo. Don't get me started on that. All right. Next, Omnicron Group. Where are we at? 3.76%. I don't even know what this one does. It's been so long, I forget. Oracle's a big winner. Who would have thought? Larry Ellison, who would have thought? The price-wise, this thing is still doing quite well over the years. 1.57%. Uh, it's a winner for me. I've had it forever. So, Oracle's out there. PG is like Kimberly Clark, products. Household goods, stuff like that, tides, you know, blah, 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 bounties. Um, are these things good for you? I doubt it, but, it, you know, people are buying them, so why not make money off people? Look at this little bastard going up again, 2.52%. Not bad. Southern, is, I think it's a utility company. Oh, what is it? Yeah. So 4.16, as I said before, you, utes, 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 company, utility companies are have usually high dividends. All right, WPC, I know this. I just forgot what it's called. 8.12%, 8 baby. Big daddy company. But again, it tanked. But it's coming back up. Oh, I don't even know what the hell these guys do. What do you do? Uh, let's read through this. Blah, blah, blah. Real estate? Investing? I have no idea. It's been so long since I bought this thing. Oh, then as a... Uh, as a uh, experiment, I also ended up buying the Fidelity Index 500, S&P 500 index fund, just to compare to see if it's better just to buy the Index 500 fund, which pays a quarterly dividend 1.58%, versus buying the individual stocks over time. And I'm making more buying the individual stocks that I like and done research on the big uh, dividend kings that pay a decent dividend, been around a while, aren't going to go belly up. Uh, uh, the index 500 is based on S&P 500. You know, you got the Apples, the uh, the Googles, uh, Amazonies, uh, all those companies are lumped in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, here's a story. I went through a financial advisor, Ameriprise. I had Apple stock. Oh my God, the idiot at Ameriprise said you should just sell that. We'll invest it in something. I went, dumbest. Never listen to a financial advisor or wealth advisor. Don't. Well, my God, I sold it. Oh dear God. Kick me! I'd be multimillionaire now. This effing financial advisors are pure evil. They'll do everything to use your money to make uh, money for them through expenses and fees. They don't care about you. They just care about your money and how they can make money off your money. And while you just return maybe 1%, they're making so much off you in expenses. What a crime. My fault. I trusted a friend, but big mistake. All right, I also track my Bitcoin. See, I have a lot of life lessons, guys, man. It's like be, trust no one, T-N-O, trust no one. Before you give someone your money or ask them for financial advice, just you can listen to them, but don't trust them. Do small and see if they actually do good for you. But in general, they're not going to give a crap about you. Now when I'm with this one company, this one branch, and they keep bugging me, oh, consultation. It's like, no, leave me alone. You know, I'm not talking to you. I'll just, if I screw up, it's on me then, not on you. I don't want to trust my money to any financial advisor or any company because you guys are just, nah, it's horrible. Anyway, Bitcoin, we talked about Bitcoin, ETH, Ethereum. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm, that guy freaks me out. 
Anyway, Litecoin, what a joke. I told you a long time ago, I had that. It shopped the 400. The idiot guy who, no idiot, the douchebag who uh, ran Litecoin dumped off his stuff when it hit 400. Oh, I needed to reinvest in the company. Da, 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 da. They left everyone hanging. I think tanks are 68 bucks. I should have dumped 2017 when it shopped the 400 or whatever. I'm a fool. Do not do what I do. I'm just showing, <laughs> just showing you what I am doing. In, in general, I've screwed and missed a lot of opportunities, but I have a nice foundation. So... Lots of little soldiers out there making me dividend money. And again, looking at all the shit I've done and all the losses, you know, this crypto stuff's a joke in a way. It's just a, it's just gambling, high stakes gambling. But the other ones are paying me dividends every month or every quarter, and that's good. I have, do have Tesla. It doesn't pay a dividend. It's a big loss for me right now. Big joke. I don't know what the hell's going on. I think people are catching on how electric vehicles are a joke. They're actually powered by power plants, duh, oil, generators, diesel, are used to power these damn things. And now people are realizing these things catch on fire. It's like a little nuclear fusion reaction going on. You just can't put it out. The first responders, the fire departments have new ways and tactic, tactics they need to use to put these fires out. And it's really scary. Uh, we had a thing down here where a um, boat, liveaboard boat, they dropped their e-bike. Just a little e-bike with a little battery, battery pack in there. Went to saltwater. Dropped it, submerged. It went into the salt water, submerged, pulled it out. They put it back on their boat. They plugged it in to charge it. The thing went into a meltdown mode. It overheated. It became a fusion reaction on itself. It just caught the whole boat on fire. The lady and her dog died. The other the family, other people got off, but they were had to go to the hospital. Is the whole boat was burnt? Disgusting. It was it because just because the solar the. Uh, the uh, ion battery, lithium ion battery hit salt water and then they plugged it back in and the thing just became a nuclear reaction. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. Not good. I think people were catching. Then there was a fire in a parking garage and they tried to blame it on an EV, but it was actually a, it was a, um, I think it was a Range Rover, which had, which was a hybrid. One of these cars, I think it was one of those and it's the hybrid battery caught on fire. And then the fire was so intense, of course, all the other cars around it caught on fire. And then it got so hot, I think even a Tesla then caught on fire. That thing then went nuclear and it burnt through and the cement on the parking garage and all the cars fell through the floor to the lower level. It's unbelievable. Yeah, so I think people are catching on. It makes me nervous because I think my Tesla stock is going to be worthless. All right, now enough about that. EPD. Look at this thing tanking. Dear God. 7.56%. This is interesting. These are um, distributors, delivery systems of oil and gas. Look, there's pipes. Look at the pipes. Look at the pipes. Look, look, look. Interesting company, and it pays a decent little freaking dividend, folks. You can't bark at that, even with the Biden inflation out there killing us all, making us eat bugs. You know what I mean? All right. FMIL is something. It's an ETF. I purchased... It's a 0.75. And when I purchased it, I was talking to a friend about it. I think I wanted the FMILX one. It's This is the ETF one, and this is not the ETF one. And this one is the one which, which has a high recommendation, high rating, pays a decent yield, and the performance has been you know 10% or so. And over time, it's not bad. It's comparable to buying the index 500 fund, but different, right? And no fees, stuff like that. I like Fidelity. Yeah, it seems to be all right. I made the bulk share of my money with the Vanguard Magellan Fund years ago. Holy crap. I just sat and forget that damn thing. I looked 10 years later, bam, bajinga. Money, money, money. All right, Coke. I just bought this. I don't know why. Because I had Pepsi, so I bought some Coke, 3.28%. Not much money in it. I bought another energy company. Oh, I'll tell you why. Coke and VLO. Remember those two. Look at this, 3.25%. It's an energy company. And we did NGL. Okay, we're all caught up. I have others, but who cares? You get the gist. All right. That is the dividend reinvestment part of the video. We did crypto. We did dividend reinvestment. Why I do dividend reinvestments? My losses, my learning, life lessons, all this bullshit. Uh, and how to avoid financial advisors at all cost. Uh, let's see. Next step, why VLO, why KO, and why did I have NVIDIA and sell it right before it skyrocketed? Okay, let's go over here, folkies. Close your eyes. Let's switch the page. Uh, new tabby. 
Oh, I'm back to that page. What I found out is you can actually watch. Why are all these freaking politicians millionaires when they make 225, 185,000 a year as a civil servant? They're actually civil servants, which is a crime. And they make, don't make any money, but why are they millionaires? Well, there's no limitations on them doing inside stock trading. So there is some sites you can follow. I'm not pimping anything. These are just some things I came across. Uh, let's see, Truist. There's, a, there's some fun ones on Twitter. Let's do this. Ah. What's trading on Capitol Hill? Capital trades. Come on, Big Daddy. You can go to this site and it tells you what people are buying. People, I mean, the corrupt politicians, the uniparty. There are no, it's not Republican, Democrat bullshit. It's a uniparty. It's a big club and we're not in it, folks. They're, they're the ones who have all the money. They're making money because they knew all the news and they buy and sell stocks based on that. So, uh, oh, I hate that crap. Get away. Here's the latest trades. You can view all. You can say, oh, the guy's been... This guy bought, sold Walmart, and it's James Vance. He's a Republican communist. There you go. Uh, Bob Latta, he's a Republican. And it gives you all their cells. And, oh, he sold Verizon. That's good to know. So they know stuff. And usually they know the inside information before it happens, so they go and sell and buy these stocks. And, if, and they have to report it within 30 days. Some don't, like Pelosi. She's corrupt, so she'll try to hide her, her breadcrumbs as much as possible. But you can catch one. That's where I learned about NVIDIA. She bought a lot of NVIDIA. Well, why is this, this old witch buying um, NVIDIA? So I bought some, went to tank, and went, damn it. And then it came back up. And, oh, I made, my, made, made 10%, sold, then it went up to like 100%. I'm an idiot. I should have helped, like I told you. Stupid. Do is, do, don't do it as I do. All right. Here's some featured issue. Here you go. Some of the big trades and stuff like that. Let's go view all. Let's see what's going on. There's some latest insights. Pinterest. Gives you some information to make some uh, informed decisions. Tells you each rep what they're doing. You can search by politician. Pelosi's the biggest one, man. She's like, come on. It's it's just amazing. These people, it's legalized stealing. They just know that what's going to happen. They buy these companies and, oh, the news comes out and then the stock tanks or it goes up. And they make they make out like bandits. You can go, those guys buying treasury bills. I don't know what the deal with, is with that. Let's go down Verizon. This dude sold Pete Ricketts. Ooh, Pete Rick Walmart sold. Uh, I don't know any of this other crap. Some stuff is over my head. Uh, we got Union Pacific. People are selling. Oh, my God. That makes you. Oh, this Pickett's guy is on a tear, man. He must be. He's like dumping everything. Why are people selling? Whitman. Oh, my God. Let's see. Is everybody selling? That's not a good thing. He sold Alphabet. Oh, my God. All right. You know what, guys? It's making me nervous. Why is everybody... Wait. He bought something there. Bye, bye, bye. City of Atlanta. Bear. Oh, interesting. They bought Bear. Bye. Okay. But you can see what's happening. These are the latest trades that they reported. Traded. Here's the date they traded. You know, filed after 20. Here's how many days they took to file. Oh, it's the wife. Look at that. How convenient. Come on, guys. If you can't see the corruption... But instead of bitch and moan about it, try to follow their suit and make some money. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, there, you get the gist. There's that one. This is CapitalTrades.com. Uh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Oh, my God. Capital Trades. And there's this Quiver Quantitative. I think it's a different site. Quiver Quantitative. They have also have Twitter pages you can follow. Twitter's AIDS, but, you know. Use it for what it's worth. Entertainment. Holy crap. Here we go. We got Quiver Quantitative. You can see today's movers. And it also, this one is good. It kind of shows the insider trading activity so you can make some information. Holy crap. AMC is still out there doing the crap. And GameStop? Are you joking? Wow. And it gives you a whole breakdown here. And here's some different strategies they have. Here's that, uh, where's the Kramer one ahead? Inverse Kramer. They do the opposite of Kramer with a portfolio, and they always are so far ahead of the, everything else because Kramer's, Kramer's an idiot. So let's go back. All right. There's, oh, these are the ones we kind of just saw. Sale, Walmart. It's just, it's same information, different format. Some more information as well. Some latest news, Spotify. You can kind of see some, some interesting news you don't really see out there, but you can come to this site and see it. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's some news. Again, who cares about that crap? I just care about the stock news. You can see the performance, inverse Twitter momentum. You know, all the strategies are out there. And here's the sectors, which are doing well. Wow, why is retail, real estate doing well? That's bizarre. Yeah, so that is it. That is some of the crap I do and where I'm at. Again, my foundation is in dividend reinvesting, in dividend stocks in an IRA, and Roth. And uh, if you can get all your money in a Roth, do it. Uh, that's the way to go. That is, uh, there, there's multiple ways. Do the max you can each year. And also there's a back door you can do to uh, get some stuff into your Roth. Uh, backdoor contributions, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's all types of things out there. You just got to know what you want to do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it be. cash is king sometimes. In case it, it's the power goes out. The economy collapses. You're going to need cash. How are you going to get your money out of, the, out of the bank? And in the way the government's become so draconian and authoritarian, like these commies in Canada freezing people's accounts, that's not a good thing. So either you want crypto or cash. Because with crypto, what you can do, you can sell crypto and have uh, gift cards made. You know, at some machines, it's beautiful. It's kind of a nice little back door. So you got cash and crypto going to gift cards. And uh, yeah, there's always ways. You just got to plan a little bit of that stuff, like 10%. But, you know, the other stuff is dividends, making money. Uh, day trading is, I don't know. I want to do it. Maybe with crypto, you could do like, you know, watch Bitcoin. It's up from 26 to 34. That's not a bad return in a couple weeks. And then now if I would have bought it 26, and now it's other, I would dump now and just put the money in cash. Wait, wait, wait. It's going to go back down. Crypto's flaky, man. There's going to be some news coming out where Elon Musk says crypto makes him giggle. And then, boom, it's going to crash. You know, something stupid like that. There's no rhyme or reason to this stuff. Uh, you just got to, you know, spread, diversify. And I like dividends because it's paying you to invest your money. Whereas, like I said, I have the Tesla. It's just sitting there down underwater, not making me any money. And I'm just like, oh, I was hoping this thing would spike. It did split for me, which is good, but it's still down, and it's not making me happy. And uh, I just don't know. He's coming out with a cyber truck. Will that do well? He was on Rogan pimping the truck. We'll see. I know he's a technology company too, but I'm just getting a little nervous. But again, I don't need the money, so I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to even – I'll fret about it. I'll cry on my pillow, but I'm not going to touch it. Oh, what else, guys? What else? Crypto. Uh, Bitcoin been gone. You guys seen that if you're in the crypto – all the other guys I followed on the um, mining spaces, it's funny to see how they've diversified. Now one guy is just kind of doing the latest stock news on crypto, uh, financial news on crypto. The other guy opened up a computer store, which I was posting, dude, don't do it. Do not open a brick and mortar store. Never, never, never. Everything online, everything online. Because you're paying so much crap in lease, electrical, having a physical store that can get robbed. It's just no, no, no. But he did it. Good for him. But, you know, you live and learn. Uh, other guy, I can't, I can't, I don't know what his motive is. He keeps buying GPUs and building this. I just, know, it's a hobby, but it's crazy, man. It's just over the top. Uh, I can't watch it anymore. I just see the thumbnails. I just can't watch the videos. Uh, some other stuff, I just don't care anymore. I don't care to mine anymore. It's just the juice isn't worth the squeeze. And I'd rather just go buy the shit and then put it on fidelity and hope it goes up and dump it. And I do have stuff in my own private wallet for security because I don't trust anything. I got frauded once or scammed once. My own stupidity. Uh, lost an ETH. I'm so stupid. I know. I learned I learned the hard way. It's just slow down. If you're doing 50 things, don't mess with money if you're over overtaxed. All right. I don't know. That's my life lessons for today. It's 11.32 p.m. at night on a, I don't know what the hell date is. Tuesday night. Yeah. What else is going on? Uh... That's about it, guys. I don't know. I have nothing else to talk about. Uh, I don't know about the crypto. I don't know what's going on with it. I am keeping an eye on this uh, ETF. Let's go look at that. I'm going to do something real quick here. Let's. How do I do this? Oh, here's one fund. Here's that fund. Fidelity New Millennial Fund. Look at this, guys. Let me know what you think. Post down in the comments what you think of this new Millennium Fund. Millennium Falcon. Millennium? Millennial. Millennial Falcon? Millennium Falcon. I don't know. Look at this puppy. Let's do it together. Wow, we're here. What the hell? It's only YouTube. What do you guys got else going on? Nothing. You can only watch so much porn. You got to watch some other channels now and then. All right, let's do this. 
do, 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 do. If there are some other funds it mentions. And where is the stupid thing at? Mutual fund, year-to-date return 12.36%. See where I'm looking there? Douche, douche, doofy, 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 doofy. Expense ratio is 0.61. Okay. Yield 1.41. All right. All right. Here's the 500 index fund I got. Have that one up there. Let's see what happens if I click on that. 12.36%. Is that the same one? Is that the same one? I'm an idiot sometimes with this crap. 12.36%. Where'd it go? Oh, I don't know. I must have the wrong values. 31.73. That's the ETF. I don't want that one. I want the X. What is happening? I broke it, guys. I broke I broke Yahoo or Google Finance. What is happening? We're witnessing this together. We're witnessing this together. What is? Look at it. I broke it. I broke it. Bear with me. Bear with me. Piece of crap. Exit the page. All right, hold on. I'm sorry. Google. Oh, screw it. Screw this. Watch this. Here's what you can do. You go to the stock thing. Hold on a sec. Bear with me. Close your eyes. I'm going to click on it. I can see more data from Yahoo. Yahoo, Yahoo for how horrible of a site it's been. They have good finance stuff. Here we go, folks. FMILX. And you can go through here and see it's yield 1.41%. Performance. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Best one year total return, 40.24%. Three years, 40.24%. Five year average, 10.5. Uh, year to date return, 8.12. Yeah, so this gives you a whole breakdown. Let me know what you think. Again, read through this. It's people that are smarter than me, which is pretty much everybody. Read through this puppy and let me know what you think. It is, there's no, um, no fee. It's like, no fees, right? Yeah, it's a no fee NTF, no fee, whatever. I forgot what he calls it. It's a zero fee. You just buy it. There's no fees on it. And uh, you just watch it grow, <laughs> hopefully. But usually when you buy crap, it tanks like 20%. It just seems to be the norm. Oh, uh, well, let's see. But, but, but where is it? Where is it? Holdings, performance. And you can see with the holdings. But I clicked on that. Why is it so slow, man? Uh, you can see the sectors weighing it holds. Ooh, technology. Here's the tech. It's almost like the freaking index 500 fund. So again, I don't know the, what the big deal is. Why do people like Microsoft? I don't get it. Yeah, I do not get it. Somebody explain that to me. Stocks. Oh, I see they have a different cash. Yeah, but still heavy on stocks. Yeah, let's do, let's do historical data. La, 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 la. <laughs> We are learning together. Wow, that makes no sense to me. All right, uh, summary. Give me some summary. Yeah, let's see. I don't know. I only bought a couple bucks of this the other day because I, I just I don't know why it just came on my radar again. And I went. I think I held the wrong one, the FMIL, which is the ETF. I went. What the hell do I have this for? And I was gonna dump that, but I saw this and yeah. We'll see what's going to happen. You have 1.41%. Yeah, go take a look at that puppy. And then I think this is similar to the uh, Fidelity Index 500 fund you might like. Again, this is sh this is shit you can just buy, contribute every week, a couple bucks, let it grow, reinvest the dividends, and forget, set and forget. And then 10 years down the road, it's like, blammo, look at the money I got saved up in my IRA slash Roth. And you'll be you'll be having a nice little foundation like like uh, like most normal financial sound people that aren't spending all their shit every month on shiny objects like new cars, TVs, you know, eating out all the time. You know, just fun to stay home. I enjoy staying home. I hate going out. I hate dealing with people. It's, uh, it gets a little annoying after a while. All right. On that note, well, that's all I got. Nice long video. Wow, 50 minutes, baby. This is like a live stream. This is almost like a live stream. And thank you for joining me on the, today's podcast. We'll do ASMR, stock trading. And let's see. As always, because there's some strange folks out there, this is for entertainment purposes only. 
This is financial fun. This is entertainment. Uh, these are all just for examples and what I do as from my personal experience. I am not a financial advisor, nor do I play one on TV. And I did not stay at a uh, Holiday Inn last night, so whatever. Yeah, that's uh, that's all the crap you got to put on YouTube. All right, guys, go for it. Do great things. Let me know what I'm missing. I don't know. I'm afraid the economy is going to collapse big time, bigly, bigly. But I have a lot of cash, I think. Not a lot. I have some cash in reserves, and that's what rich people do. They have cash in reserves, so when there's blood in the streets, that's when you buy. When people are freaking and panicking, which is going to happen soon, uh, then you start buying shit. And then, you know, like 2008, everything tanked hugely. And uh, then people that were had cash bought. And then a couple of years later, blammo, they're sitting pretty. Or they bought real estate. Now they're sitting super pretty. And that's just the way it goes. You just got to have reserves, be prepared. Luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. I did not create that or think of that. I'm an idiot, but I heard it somewhere. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, go forth through great things. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this FMILX. I don't know. I don't know. It may be a good one. Again, these are long-term things. Set and forget. And uh, yeah, build your wealth slowly. Trickle, trickle, trickle. All right, goodbye. Take care. Adios.